and not black guys. That's six minutes and 59 seconds longer than a person should be pondering the fact that, oh shit, there's dangerous African-American males trying to take over our freeway system. <laughs> that whole time I was like, shit, I gotta take the streetcar. Yeah, that's, that shouldn't happen. So obviously from that note, you know that when I took my French exam, didn't go so hot, not at all. I went into my French exam and I realized I studied the completely wrong thing. And the reason why is because I couldn't read the French instructions about my French exam. That was some kind of exam within an exam before I ever even got there. So I failed spectacularly. I just sat at this computer screen where this guy talked to me in French on headphones where I had no clue what he was saying. And after, I had to get my printout of my paper from my teacher right there. And it was at this moment where I realized how much of an asshole my pregnant teacher was and how little she thought of my skills in French. Because I went over to her, and she looks me right in the eyes. And she stares at me as she's patting me on my head. She goes, you did better than I thought you could. You did better than I thought you could. I was expecting like, oh, happy holidays, go home and have a good time. No, you did better than I thought you could. So I was like, well, screw this, I'm getting the hell out of here. So I went outside, and to make matters worse, pouring rain. Just Torrential downpour, and so I was like, I'll ride this one out. So I stood by the window for five minutes, nothing changed. So I opened my umbrella, got outside, and it was still pouring, like water's hitting my feet, but I, like, no one really cares about that for some reason. And I was just, I was cruising outside, and there I saw it, corner of my eye. My French teacher has a newspaper over her head trying to block herself, but she is just getting soaked. Just water's going through the newspaper, bits everywhere. Her pregnant stomach kind of looked like some kind of pregnant eaves trough with water just like pouring off either sides. And as I said before, the weirdest thing that I thought was, oh shit, her water better not break because no one's going to know. <laughs> and I didn't do well at biology apparently because it's not the same. But I walked by her and I looked her right near little yous and I said, I said, hey, looks like you, Shane Bez went to Père Hapoui. <laughs> And then I left. Thank you guys. I've been Roy Reed. You guys have been great. Au revoir. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roy Reed. And sadly.